Hello guys, in this video we'll learn how to write integration tests or unit tests with real dependencies using test containers in Rust. So let's begin. The service we have today is this DB service which connects to a PostgreSQL database and has a bunch of queries to create an employee table, list down employees and create employee. The model we have today is this employee model which will store and retrieve from database and employee info which we'll be using to create a new employee. The framework we'll be using for testing is test containers. So let's get an overview of framework before we start writing our tests. So we'll use this open source framework of test containers. The, I'll drop the link of this uh, website so you can check it out. And it's available in all of the major languages. Test dependencies as code. So basically it helps us avoid all the mocks and configurations and test our dependencies as code. And also has support for all of your major dependencies. So let's begin. First of all, we'll move to cargo terminal file. Here we'll add a dev dependency, which is test containers. And then we'll build our project. After which we'll move to our project explorer and add a db integration test.rs. So here we'll add our test. First of all, we'll add a module test and cfg attribute test to only compile this when we are testing and async fn let's say it should work to add our first test and here we'll just say tokyo test so let container port container port from 5432 default postgres port and then we'll spin up the container so generic image uh, new Postgres latest with exposed port as container port and pass a few environment variable. The first one that we have today is Postgres DB. Let's say the DB name as Postgres with environment variable Postgres user. Again, the name is Postgres, let's say, or you can add any other name for that matter. And if you want to add a password, you can, but I'll just restrict with public. So we have to pass this environment variable, which is Postgres host auth method as trust. Start and await unwrap. So this is all that we need to spin up and then we'll get our host. So container.gethost.await.unwrap and the host port. So container dot get host ipv4 5432 await and unwrap and then we'll add a connection URL for DB connection string. So format and here we'll just say Postgres SQL and Postgres so host host port. This is the user then uh, our instance and the last thing we'll add is the db and ssl mode is disabled that's all that we'll add in the connection url and tokyo time sleep for five seconds because we want our connect our container to properly spin up before we start testing and then here we'll add a db service instance so db service new pass the connection url await and then we'll create the table so we'll just say create employee table dot await dot unwrap and then we'll add employee so let's add employee info with name as i don't know jack or use a different name let's say Aaron this time and title as let's say engineer email as Aaron at semicolon dot com and phone number as let's say zero 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 I don't know because we are not doing any validation here the purpose is to learn test containers and then we'll just do service.createEmployee 
pass our employee info dot away dot unwrap and then we'll also try to get so you can add assert here but we'll also test the get so result service dot list employee dot await dot unwrap and then we'll just add assert equals so let's say we compare the count result dot iter dot count as one now you can test for uh, object as well like compare the properties if you want to but i'll just stick with this so as you can see we are not mocking anything we don't have any complex configuration we are just writing a bunch of lines of code and testing our dependencies as if we are running against that production db but it's a different environment and we are not polluting our production db as well with some test data so it's pretty amazing test containers now let's test so just open your terminal and here we'll just do cargo uh, cargo test so there you go as you can see it clearly says test result okay one test pass but let's see to check it actually works we change it to two and we run the same test again and there you go as you can see it fails and it says left size was one and right is two so basically we are only inserting one employee what this proves is our queries are correct it can create a table it can list the employees correctly and it can add the employee as well so this is proper integration testing or unit test with real dependencies which is telling us or confirming to us that our code is correct and it will work fine providing our production db is up and running so that's how you can test i hope you guys learned something new and if you do like like the video share with your friends subscribe to the youtube channel i'll catch you guys in the next video thank you bye bye